Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Second quarter data shows that consumer prices aren't likely to drop anytime soon. Low unemployment means companies will pay more competitive wages and pass the higher costs on to shoppers. Wages jump 1.6% in the second quarter, matching record highs. While the big payout was in Illinois, one California lottery ticket in Fresno cashed out for $4.2 million. It was the only ticket in the whole state to match all five drawn numbers, but it did not get the mega ball number. The Illinois jackpot was the third largest of all time. Russia has added another felon to the Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan counteroffer. They're asking for convicted murderer Vadim Krasikov to be freed from a German prison. The U.S. now accusing Moscow of negotiating in bad faith. Former President Trump now facing backlash from the families who lost loved ones in 9-11. Trump hosting a Saudi-backed live golf tournament at his club in New Jersey. 15 of the 19 hijackers involved in the 9-11 terrorist attack were Saudi nationals. JetBlue is pending a deal to acquire budget airline Spirit Air. Travel experts say this could be bad for travelers as competition is one of the only regulating factors of airline fares. Eight people were killed after a helicopter crash in the country of Georgia. It happened at a ski resort during a rescue mission for two people that got stuck in a ravine while paragliding. Local media there reported that because of the crash, July 30th will be declared a national day of mourning. The law would change the country's constitution so that any decision that impacts aboriginal groups would require those groups to be consulted. This, as the Pope continues his apology tour about the role the Catholic Church played in cultural genocide of First Nations people in Canada through residential schools. About 150,000 children attended these schools between the 1870s and the 1990s. The World Health Organization is now calling for international efforts to stop the spread of monkeypox. There have been at least 16,000 reported cases across nearly 80 different countries. A week ago, the organization declared the disease a public health emergency. And check this out. Volunteers in Spain helped tag flamingo chicks in one of the largest flamingo colonies in the world in southern Spain. The trackers help researchers follow the colony's travels throughout Europe and North Africa. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.